YouTube. Now, sorry for not posting last week. We were supposed to do a video, but I kind of forgot. So, this will be your first uh, of two videos this week. A start for Percy is up first. So let's get down to the chilly days of winter right about now. Let's get to it. Bundle up. Here comes the fun, yo. It was a cold winter's morning on the island of Sodor. The wind was bitter and the ground hard with frost. Thomas and Percy... Percy were sitting in the sheds, but there are three goofs, actually. Thomas has got wonky eyes. His funnel's crooked. And his buffers are actually crooked for once. Three jobs and they couldn't maintain him. Percy were cold and cross. All I want is a warm boiler, huffed Thomas. Firelighter knows that. He's late. He's not late, replied Percy. This weather woke us up early. Gusts of wind swirled round the shed, tossing flakes of snow toward Thomas. Then they swooshed round Percy, too. Why don't we talk about something else, shivered Percy. Yes, replied Thomas. Like how silly we'll look when our funnels turn into icicles. That's not funny. Maybe we'll stop feeling cold if we talk about warm things. Like sunshine and steam. And fire lighters muttered Thomas. Wait. Wait a minute. Bit of an eye gap on Thomas's left, uh, right eye. And now we see another gap on Percy's left eye. Seen here. <clears throat> Scarves, continued Percy. Scarves, laughed Thomas. That's what you need, Percy. A woolly scarf round your funnel. Thomas was only teasing, but Percy thought happily about scarves until the firelighter came. Sir Topham Hatt was enjoying hot porridge for breakfast. He was looking forward to taking important visitors on a tour of the railway and had pressed his special trousers. Which are way too big for his size! I shall put them in my trunk. Sir Topham Hatt said to his wife, and change into them just before the photographs are taken. Then he set off. Okay, the UK version actually had a very long pause. And I know people watch the Michelangelo's version and will probably kill me if, they, if I didn't point that out. But at least the timing was right here. But at least the George Carlin version got it right. To catch his train. Percy was now working hard. Yeah, Percy was moving too slowly. It looked like he was about to stop. His fire was burning nicely, and he had plenty of steam, but he still thought about Scar. Okay, just checking. Just remember, Percy does have a train here. That's Lady Hat. who apparently took lessons from Doctor Who. <laughs> he saw them everywhere he went. Oi! Percy, where's your train? My funnel's cold. My funnel's cold, he puffed. I want a scarf. I want a scarf. Stupid camera. I was shaking the whole time. Rubbish, Percy, said Henry. Engines don't wear scarves. Engines with proper funnels do, replied Percy. You've only got a small one. Yeah. Before Henry could answer, Percy puffed away. Henry snorted. He was looking... Oh, he came from an end buffer. Or that's a little wrong. He was continuously moving. Forward to pulling the special train. It was time for the photographs. Everyone was excited. Yeah. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting on the platform for his trousers. They were in a trunk amongst a big load of baggage. Remember, the porter on the on the left is wearing... Well, it's going to be on the right in the next scene. But he's wearing green pants. The porters were taking the baggage trolley across the line. They were... And now the pant... And now I think the... Colored trousers are different. And Walking backwards to see that nothing fell off. 
Percy was still being cheeky. His driver always shut off steam just outside the station. Percy wanted to surprise the coaches by coming in as quietly as he could. Yeah, one thing you should fix, Percy. I don't know, maybe your wonky eyes? Also, Percy's got a loose cylinder. In case I haven't pointed it out yet. But the porters didn't hear him either. Percy get Dude! Dude! How could you not see him? Oh, are they bl are they blind? I mean, if only they were carrying canes when they were walking backwards. Or it's maybe that would make more sense. And Percy saw that saw the uh Porter the whole time, I think. Hey, that's that's what's even more messed up. Hop. And if thing couldn't get any worse, think again. It was such a fright that boxes and of just over the trolley. Everywhere. But now the trolley's in front of him. It's supposed to be underneath. But that is not all, all folks. Oh, grown person. Yeah, the box fell the first time. And the box falls again, bits and bits and pieces. And FYI, the jam was inside the box. There's a top hat, but where's the trousers? Oh. Sticky streams of jam trickled down Percy's face. Hey, how did that appear out of nowhere? Here, I was wondering where the trouser was. Trousers were. A top hat hung on his lamp iron. Worst of all, a pair of trousers coiled lovingly around his funnel. Everyone was very angry. Sir Topham Hat seized the top hat. Mine, he said. Percy, look at this. Yes, sir. I am, sir. My best trousers, too. Yes, sir. Please, sir. We must pay the passengers for their spoiled clothes, and my trousers are ruined. I hope this will teach you not to play tricks with the coaches. No, it won't. It serves you right for wearing for bringing an oversized pair of trousers that won't even fit you at all. All, for one. So, and yeah, I'm glad it's messed up. And on Percy's funnel. So you know what? Serves you and right! Hey, like, that's what I say. Mm -hmm. Percy went off to the yard. He felt very silly. Uh so does James. His face is almost loose. And his eyes are very wonky. On the way, he met James. Hello, Percy. So you found a scarf, eh? But legs go in trousers, not funnels. And he puffed away to tell Henry the news. That evening, Thomas and Percy were resting in the shed. Percy's driver had taken away the trousers and given Percy a good rubdown. Firelighters promised to come early tomorrow, said Thomas. Henry arrived. He'd enjoyed taking the visitors around and now felt sorry for Percy, too. Driver says the weather will be warmer tomorrow. You won't need a scarf, Percy. Certainly not, replied Percy. Engines don't need scarves. Engines need warm boilers. Everyone knows that. Oh, do they? Hey, by the way, there are three more goofs. Henry's got wonky eyes. He didn't have any wonky eyes in the previous scene or two. Ooh, what you just saw. Uh, he's leaning towards the left. And... Oh, yeah, Thomas's tracks are not... Are not... Are more curved rather than straight. And I think that's all the goofs in this episode. If I missed anything, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it. Please do not forget to subscribe and turn on all post notifications so you won't miss a single upload. That's one story down. 
another one to come. Um, see you guys immediately on a very fast trip to the next station. Aboard!